Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching civil engineers YouTube channel dear friends in this video lecture today I am going to discuss about 12 important points for civil engineers of course it's very important topic for today and if you are a civil engineer and you are working on construction site so you have to learn 12 important points let's see and if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more update civil engineering videos if you are new on this youtube channel and also like this video if this is helpful for you so the first one is you should learn lab and field test of building materials if you are working on construction site so you have to learn lab and field test of building materials like cement sand steel etc that what are the important lab and field tests so you have to learn all that how to test a brick first class brick second class brick etc so you have to learn all the building material test lab and also field test right the second one is basic knowledge of soil and their properties you have to learn basic knowledge of soil because we have different types of soil and about bearing capacity of soil because uh, every uh, types of soil has different bearing capacity and also their properties right this one is too much important also and the third one is standard formulas of rcc and steel structure design you have to learn all the standard formulas for rcc steel structure design for example how to find quantity of steel right how to find or what is the formula of bent up bar because we have different types of bent and steel structure like uh, uh, also you have to learn lapping length okay that what is the formula for lapping length for compression member and also for tension member like beam or column etc so you have to learn all the standard formulas for rcc structures right and the fourth one is if you are working on site so to be checked length to height ratio thickness of wall and area of other rooms while designing a building so with drawing with drawing study you have to check all the room's length and also its breadth and height of wall and also thickness of the wall and area of other rooms while designing a building remember you have to check depth of the beam width of the beam thickness of the slab etc because it's very important because if you don't check their dimensions so maybe there you will make a lot of mistake in your building construction so designing a building so you have to check all the dimensions and all the thickness all the depth weight and area of rooms so the fifth one is lab test of soil both surface and foundation soil remember that lab tests are too much important for every engineer they should learn the lab test of soil because we have different test of soil and lab and also both surface and foundation so we have to check and we have to find all the test for foundation soil right and the sixth one is have a good knowledge about rcc structure and steel if you don't have any knowledge about rcc structure and steel so you are not able to find any mistake in your building construction works so you have a good knowledge about rcc structures okay the seventh one is construction billing procedures from client side as well as contractor side remember that this is the communication during construction work of any building it's the communication between clients and contractor okay so you have to do good communication with clients and contractor if you are working on site as a civil engineer or site engineer okay about all billings so here the eighth one is here okay the eighth one is daily work preparation as per quantity surveyor standards so you have to prepare your daily work as per quantity surveyor standards if you complete your work so at night time when you close your work so for tomorrow you have to prepare your work okay as per quantity surveyor standards this is also too much important and ninth one is bar bending schedule bbs bar bending schedule of all rcc structure like footing beam slab column raft foundation 
or we can say raft, footing, staircase, etc. Remember that you have to learn all about bar bending schedule, right? And for all RCC structure like these, okay? And the tenth one is bill of quantity B O Q. Take off material and preparation. Okay, billing of quantity is also too much important. So for that you have to learn about rate analysis of materials. Okay, and the eleventh eleventh one is also rate analysis of all kind of civil work. So you have to find the rate of material in market. That what is this? Uh, what is the rate of bricks and what is the uh, rate of uh, steel, etc. Okay, so with that rate you have to find building quantity. Right. The other one is, or the last one is, learn all about engineering drawings in AutoCAD. Because if you don't know about engineering drawings, so you cannot find the quantity, you cannot find the structure, uh, the structure quantity, and you are not able to study the drawing because you have to learn all about the drawings. Because without the drawing, you cannot do any construction works. And also as well as AutoCAD is too much important. So if you have any question about this video, so you just comments, I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.